All right. Back to a regular video format. Just me here talking to myself. And uh, we're at Lucas Oil, or actually Indy Raceway Park. Um, what do they call it now? Lucas Oil Indy Raceway Park? Something like that. I don't know. It's IRP. Um, we'll call Lucas Oil the dirt track Lucas Oil and just call this IRP how it should be. Uh, my sound is messed up for some reason. My spotter just seems really loud. I know I've had this issue before. I know I fixed it. I can't remember how I fixed it. So I'm just turning my spotter down a little bit. But um, yeah, my headset updated and that just throws everything off for some reason. So, we've got a 24 car field. I am not comfortable at all. Uh, Daniel said use the setup from last time we were here. Said I might have to tighten it up, or loosen it up. And all I've done is spin. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to just start at the back. Because, why not? It's a short track. we got 120 laps. Uh, there's going to be tons of wrecking, and I need the practice before I start getting up in the middle of things. So, I don't know if the volume, the game volume, is going to be right or not. I had to turn it down to have Kenny's voice loud enough. And I turned it back up, so I'm just, I'm hoping, I, I don't like changing things with my recording because I get it set and I don't want to mess with it and everyone just spins out behind us so I guess we're not the only ones spinning out track temp 68 air temp 66 what day is this uh, the weather data is pretty terrible if uh, they think that we're gonna get a 66 degree night in the middle of summer who knows, maybe they're saying that a uh, cold front came through with some storms, but the coldest it's been here in Omaha over the last month. I think we got down to like 68 one night after a thunderstorm rolled through, but I really hope their weather system starts putting some better data out there. Yeah, this is... July 30th in game. Um, yeah, I don't know where they got that weather data. 66 degrees. Uh, not, not in Indiana. I don't care how dark it is. It's going to be hot as hell. I mean, we should be up in the 70s somewhere. I know it doesn't seem like that much of a difference, but... Um... Yeah, we'll just pretend like a rainstorm came through. So we're just going to click the button. Um, got something to talk about because I'm kind of in the process of thinking this through. I think I'm going to do something that I said I wouldn't do, which is start a league not it's going to be 12 weeks each season um i think i might do a season 0 as a test to see if i even want to do this i guess where it'll be 4 weeks uh from the 7th to the 28th and just see if it feels like it's too much work. Um, it would be on Sundays at 8 p.m. Eastern, which will help the West Coast people. Um, that's, that's the only thing I can do to make it West Coast friendly. Saturdays are out because soccer. Um, I know that... Sunday, NASCAR is going to start taking up some of the later times as the season ends. 
So I may just not have races for the first season if we even get that far. Uh, biggest thing is having to manage this with being the bad guy. If we get some people that come into the series, we get a viewer in, but the viewer is constantly wrecking and making it less fun for people. It's hard for me to say, hey, don't show up. Now, I've had to do it. Just ask Chris, because um, he is banned from my hosted races, and uh, I, that was because of an intentional wreck that screwed over some leaders as well. Um, I don't like doing that, because it creates conflict. I also don't know if a lot of viewer races like this would be good because certain viewers are going to get mad at other viewers whereas right now there's really no interaction um, other than people getting angry that someone comments on a finishing position which I can't help it I've watched a thousand YouTubes and I never see the first comment so I, I don't know what to do about that. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's one of those things where I would really like to do it, but I don't know if I want to do it. And I'm still not sure if I'm going to start it on the 7th. So I've got to kind of take some time, kind of think about it figure out, do I really want to do that on a Sunday night? Because then I'm uploading a video um, late Sunday night, trying to get it out on Monday. I mean, it would be better content for Monday, because right now Monday's not a very good content day for me. Um, But yeah, that's where my head is right now, is kind of, it would be 12-week championships, as long as I didn't have something that was going to come up on one of those, it would be first come, get in. Um, and then I think for like pave stuff, it's going to be a very simple format. Qualify, top 28 race. So there's go, go or go home um, for everyone, which, you know, is going to... I don't, I don't even know if we can get 28 people. Uh, my hosted numbers have been falling off. I think sometimes because people are scared that they're going to piss me off. Don't, don't, I'm not going to get mad if you're slow as long as you can hold a line. Um, so I don't want anyone not signing up because they're scared they're going to be slow, especially if we go with a format where you got to qualify to get in. Um, but those formats also cause people to get in that are fast, that can't control their car. So that's where like heat races are good, because those people usually wreck out before they can transfer. So, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it, what we're going to do it in. You know, what I would like to do is follow like the first season, follow the ARCA schedule... And use the ARCA car, but go three times the length with fixed setups and two sets of tires. That's what I would like to do, but, um, you know, is that too much ARCA? Would that be entertaining for people? It would allow people to, you know, practice all week in the official races, but you're also not going to really know what the car's going to do later uh, in a run if we get a long run. So, I don't know. That's where I'm at right now. Each season would be a different car, um, different type. We might do a road season. We might do an off-road season. You have four additional sets of tires during this race. Have a good race. So, I mean, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Right now, I've got to see if I even want to do this. It would be under the league section. I have no idea how any of that works. Um, so I would have to look into that a bit. And um, 
yeah, it's it's one of those things. I want to do it, but sometimes having You're on the outside this time. too much Close. stuff that I'm committed to with sim racing gets really old. You know, having NIS every Friday, which will soon be done. Um, but and then the ARCA time slot on Monday nights, uh, Tuesday nights, the 410. I like to just kind of show up, see what's racing, and run. So having scheduled things One left to does wear on me. But that's where I'm at. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I think it might be fun. But it also depends on who's able to show up and uh, what what the races turn out to be. You know, if it's like the trucks at Rockingham every week, which was the worst hosted race I've ever had, I don't know if that would be fun. So, it's, uh, yeah. We'll see if I decide to actually go through with it. But, trucks at Lucas Oil, IRP, um, going to be interesting. I almost turned down and wrecked the guy on my inside there as I lifted off and the car started going left. No, of course we are. Apparently they all got loose underneath and somehow we didn't get hit. Alright, so I'm just rolling around right now and he gets loose. Apparently everyone I get near gets loose. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Although it is very outside loose down clear. here. Car outside. Go high. 22. Three car saves it and doesn't seven. cause a caution. That was my fastest outside lap clear. when we were sideway sideways the whole front stretch. Trying to give the 22 a bit of room there. Didn't want to cut him off. Well, we're in 11th right now. Cars hopefully will tighten up. And then I'll be complaining about it not turning, but then we can run a little lower, I hope. And we're actually in 10th, okay. The yellow flag is out. Line up, single file. Well, that was a longer green run than I thought we were gonna get at the start. Catch up, 17 car. So yeah, back to the league. Um, obviously, I think I would start out with a ARCA series that follows the real or the season schedule, except for the Roval. Um, I don't want to do road racing with stock cars and hosted because it's not fun, because cautions don't work. Um, you know, automatic cautions. So, it's kind of... I don't know. If we're going to do road racing, I want to do it in a road car, like the MX-5. I want to, with that, do a format where we have, like, two races or three races that are shorter races so that, you know, like... Kind of like we did with Formula V, just a uh, eight minute race and then another eight minute race. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what would work good. It will take some tweaking and trying. I think with Arca, I also want to start with the track clean. Not clean, but 0%, but with dirt on so that it's uh, it's dusty, it speeds up as we go, it starts to lay rubber as we go. The first run, the tires wear more than the second run. Um, make it different from what we get, because if it's just another official race, then that's not going to be fun to watch. Obviously, I don't want to do open closed. setups because 
that just opens the door for very boring races where one person just checks out because their setup is crazy good. Um, you know, I've been thinking about, like, after watching Gavin's race in the Legends at Stafford, I would like to do a fixed advanced Legends, but that would take a bit of time for me to tweak the setup. I want, you know, I want something that's going to drive halfway decent and one to go. Next not be Line up on the, the low tire Gap pressure crap fest that you have to run in Point that series. Because it'd be fun to do a Legends race. It'd be fun to do like a 80 lap Legends race with 30 Legends. Um, you know, we should have a lot of space with that many. It'd just be something different. But, again, I don't know. It may not happen. I will put a video out. We may do it for four weeks in the season zero, and I will say no, this isn't worth it. But we will see. Green, green, green. Well, we got a free spot there. We're up to ninth. Point three six eight. So yeah, right now the car, three quarters of the way through the corner, I'm either putting too much wheel in it, or it's just a little loose, because I don't feel like I'm adding any extra wheel at that point. But I'm also really not driving it hard, so it could just be that we're not pushing the car, it's not pushing out wide. And so, it's uh, not driving like it should, because we're under driving everything. So now we'll start on the inside, and we're on pace for, what, 20 cautions in this one? Keep digging. I'm trying, but we're under yellow. Keep road is now open. So yeah, today was a pretty good day because I saw an old roommate that I hadn't seen in like six, seven years, and then got a race with Kenny, which I haven't done in a couple of years. So lots of catching up. Kenny and I got to talking because on Twitter I posted about a. Uh, dirt track that we made for R Factor back what like 14, 15 years ago and uh, then he's like what about that paved track we made and I completely forgot about it that we had made a paved track and released it as well so it was good to uh, reminisce about the old old days but uh, yeah then we're both like, there's no freaking way we could ever, like, I was in college and he was in high school and we had really no responsibility and tons of time and there's no way we could do anything like that now, especially with this channel taking up my afternoons and He's closed right now. Kenny's working his butt off, so... But it's good that he's back on iRacing. He'll get up to speed. He's not, I don't think he's ever going to go for pro again just because that is such a time commitment. And Kenny's not a, not a person that's very good at planning. And yeah, so like he went to SRX at, um, to hell it was Sharon Speedway without a ticket in hopes of just buying one because he waited until the day before to look at tickets so that's that's kind of you know it doesn't work well with a very high-end 
Plus he gets bored with it too. Um, and he really gets annoyed with all of the uh, drama that sometimes happens. So it'll be interesting to see how much he races and if he returns to top speed. I'm just trying to convince him to do the short track stuff since it's so much more fun in my mind. 41.516 outside. Clear outside. And, you know, if he really doesn't like the legend stuff, then he'll probably hit up short tracks. Still inside. But he might even get into road racing. Although he's kind of like me and has a hard time holding on to an A license, so. But he's a little older now. He might know how to slow down and not try to do fastest lap every lap. And then I think I said it in a video, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do a video hopefully with uh, Dylan Duval, who is a current Coke Series driver. Um, about our one win in the Coke series, which at the time was the peak antifreeze series. Um, because that's, uh, that's a good thing to remember. He posted on Twitter a couple of days ago that it had been six years from that win. And definitely one of the biggest accomplishments my sim racing career, even if I wasn't behind the wheel, but we'll talk about that in that video, hopefully, if we find the time. Uh, it's one of those things where just trying to find the time to get together and uh, record for 20 minutes or whatever, so... Everyone on the the team, the old team, the original team, I guess, has kind of just went their separate ways. And Kevin King is building it back up slowly with a bunch of new people. Set so feels like it's coming in. We're doing a decent job on tires. Maybe not right there, but we'll see what we can do with this 16, 11 car up there getting a bit squeezed. Yeah, 16, I've been waiting for him to do that because he's done it a couple of times already. Hopefully he doesn't fight us, but nope, awesome. It's good to see someone make a mistake and not try to prevent losing a spot and make a bigger mistake. Just let them go, settle in. There's going to be a thousand of these. We got four sets of tires. We're pretty much good on fuel. If the leaders come in, I'll take tires, but I assume it's going to be two tire stops. Pit road's open. Yeah, no one's coming in. You don't want to get stuck in the back. Eh, I guess some people are. I guess everyone is. Is there anyone that's going to stay out? Oh well. It looked like everyone behind us, except for maybe the one car, was slower than us anyways. Hey, got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. And that means we're going to have to go to about lap 50 or 60 now before we pit because 
they're not going to pit. Hey, carbide, you had the position when the yellow flag came out. On 25 lap old tires. So what we really need here is a long run of 30, 35 laps to get us to lap 70. That would be great, just one run. Even though restarts, I'm not too worried about, but it does suck that we are the first pretty much in the firing line of new tires. There's a couple of people that we will just let on by. <laughs> I mean, I don't feel like we did anything to the tires, and we're good on fuel, so... Just, uh... We're gonna take track position. Over a couple laps of speed. Pit road is closed right now. We'll be starting on the inside. Got the 23, who's a 1,600 I-rated drive, driver, ahead of a couple of fast people on fresh tires. So, might get a bit of a gap, and then just be able to allow some of the faster guys through one at a time or we'll just get ran over might be more of a possibility one left to green you'll be lining up on the inside 46.347 Eleven has some heavy damage there. That looks strange. Get ready, going green. The pace car is in. Will we be put three wide into one? Green, green, green. Car outside, 41.455, stay low. Why is the 11 Still there, so low? Still there, hold your line. Hold your line. Okay, just drive Out down and run clear. into me, that's cool. I don't know why he was running so low when he was on the high side. 2.809. Look at this. See? There's the high line. Still inside. Still there. 22.406. And we got a caution. Yellow flag. Line up single file. Pit road is closed right now. Not sure why the lap car decided to stay high there. Uh, that, you gotta go low. Get out of the actual racing line. But yeah, I mean, I felt like I was pretty low, but who knows. I also thought that I something completely different happened in the late model race, and I was way wrong looking at the replay, so I don't even know who that is. I've never heard of him, so... Now we got someone pitting immediately after they chose not to pit last lap, or last caution. So apparently, two laps of green flag tires was just too much for the 10 and, and the 3, and the 2. Uh, that's a bad call. Car 20, got the lucky dog, let them Because now you're behind outside. every single car that pit the first time, although it looks like everyone's wrecking out and there's actually only 14 cars staying out. When the yellow flag came out. So not going to be too big of a deal, but how many did we start with? 
Did I get my numbers wrong? We got 23 that we started with. So someone didn't sign up. It looks like we've got four people already out of the race. And we got 15 one lap down. So, yeah, I mean, they're not too screwed, but it doesn't make sense what they just did because they chose not to pit last time. You just kind of got to live with it. It's not like... It's not like you're going to lose out on a lot of positions because it seems like the back half of the field's a bit slower. But you are going to lose out on a lot of positions when you pit and have to go behind all of them. So They are now in 11th, 12th, and 13th it looks like. So not that far behind because a lot of people were in the wreck, I guess, but Pit road is closed. Keep digging. still just an odd decision that I don't understand. Apparently they were staying out for the stage points. All right, well, we are 20 minutes into this race. Taking about half a second to do a lap. So, eight seconds slower. At least we got a little bit longer run. At one, one lap point. to green. Line up on the we outside. Catch up. They just need a good run. Point six, six, four. Get some laps in. At least that was only a 2x and not a 4x. That way we don't get too behind on x's because the short track you never know how bad it's going to get. Going green. Pace car is off. Drive in, clear behind, just lift off, give him the spot, and drive. Caution, yellow flag, line up, single file, closed, pit road is closed. And it looks like a couple of people that pit that were ahead of us. No. They all survived. Pit road is now open. I mean, at this Check point, I don't even think pitting at lap 60 is necessary, but I would assume we're going to eventually get some laps. We'll see how many people pit there for damage. One. That was a guy that was ahead of us to the 11 pits. The one, I think he was behind us. And the nine Star, 15, pits. got the lucky dog, let them pass on the outside. 15's back on the lead lap. Have we lost anyone else from the race? Let the 15, carbon. No, but the 18 is a lap down, so maybe we have lost him. Find out this lap. So yeah, if those people are pitting at lap 32, then if we get to around 60 or 70 and a yellow comes out, they're going to pit again. And if they haven't gained all their track position back, you know, what did that pit stop do? But I mean, we haven't we haven't put laps in on these tires like we're on our, what, fourth or fifth caution in 42 laps, and there are four and five lap cautions. It's like maybe 20 green flag laps. I 
I mean, they have the pace to do it. You know, they can pit every 30 laps and probably still win it. But it's like, why put yourself in that situation where you're behind a bunch of people, have to make the passes at a track that's close, very difficult to pass? Because that seven car, he was ahead of us before everyone pit that first time. Now he's in the pits a lap down. Uh, the 18 is three laps down, so it looks like the 18's out. So we're down to 17 cars on the lead lap. Unless the 15 just got himself a lap down by not paying attention. Yep, 15 is going another lap down, so he'll be back a lap down after getting his lap back. And uh, then the 7 might be two laps down now. One lap to green. Yep, seven, the seven might be out now. 48.807 About to go green, stay focused And all the fast guys are still stuck behind the slow people because we haven't had any laps for them to try to make up those spots. Green, green, green. That was weird. Why'd the green take so long to come out that time? That was very strange. And the wreck again. Closed. Pit road is closed. Looks like the 11 and the 9 were involved in that. The 11 might the open. be out of the race. And I'm guessing... No, they're still... Well, no, they're in the pits. I'm guessing we probably don't have a very good message from them. I just, I was running the line that, I feel like I was running the line that the low car runs, but if I didn't, then I apologize. 15 is going to get the lucky dog. Will he be able to stay on the lead lap under caution? Last time he did not. Uh, we now got the 15 who's two laps down. We got the three who's one lap down. That was another car that was ahead of us that pit. So, that is multiple people that were way faster than us that didn't need to pit, that did. And now they are laps down or out of the race. I really think it's people get in this mindset that, oh, if I go more than 30 laps, you know, we, we need tires, which might be true at a one and a half mile with a lot of green laps, but you get to a half mile and 30 laps is nothing. That's, uh, what, 10 laps on a cookie cutter? So, I don't know. I don't know what it is. People just pit. It maybe it's just they don't know how to drive old tires. But it's it's such a strange thing that you see so often, where people are afraid. Oh man, we've we've done thirty laps here. Fifteen of them were under caution, so we've only really done fifteen laps. And we're on a half mile, so that's only really five laps on a cookie cutter. Just think about it for a second. Is it going to 
is going to kill you. And if a bunch of people don't pit, then you're stuck behind them, trying to make the passes on a track that's really hard to make a pass on. And you have a higher chance of getting in a wreck, having to make those to passes. Go. Next time by, you're on the outside this time. 47.011. Are we just starting single file here? Is that what we're doing? Too many cautions, single file restarts. About to go green, stay focused. I know it's not a NASCAR rule, but... The pace car is in. Um, well, shit, they should have implemented it at Pocono the way they were wrecking in the first half. But... Wouldn't be too bad to have an official racing. Got a little better start, but we're not going to back off to let the five in because we've been doing it the whole time. If we change that up, he might cut across our nose thinking we're going to do it again. And like, look at it right now. Everyone's too wide behind us. No one's able to make a pass. Ten cars back there, he's way faster than both of them. But he's going to have to make a stupid aggressive pass if he wants to try to get around them. Which is a higher potential for getting wrecked or getting damaged. And he's probably freaking out because he's got a pit in seven laps because we're almost to lap 60. Even though we've done two laps under green here. Gets up to us. That's not a fight we're gonna have. We just ran our fastest lap of the race right now. I mean, that's <laughs> that's how fast I've been going, and we're running fourth. A lot of it is track position and keeping the tires under you. You know, I see the ten back there spinning his tires up out of the corners, getting loose. He'll probably need tires again at lap 60. But hopefully we just go green the rest of the way. 13 kind of got scared there and ran up the track. No, I wouldn't call that on the 5. Also one that you kind of just need to back out of. So 17 is still ahead of the two. The two will eventually get passed, and then we'll drop back to sixth place. Unless their tires really start to fall off. I'm running a little low. I mean, look, the 10 was up in the top three, and he's got a bunch of nose damage. Thirteen's falling off a bit here. We're getting loose down there. Three and four, it always seems like you can run a little lower. I'm just gonna get this guy past us. No need to fight it. No need to have him dive in and push us up the track. He's quicker on fresher tires. Don't want to deal with it. And he's blinking, so definitely don't want to be side by side with him. What we need is lots of green flag laps. I'm just being conservative, I'm not too worried about our pace right now. A little early on the throttle there, got me a little loose. Five car to the lead, four car looks like he's getting a bit of a push on entry. 17's closing down on us, but I think he was ahead of us before he pit, so 
That's not too surprising. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. 22.561. Pull my delta bar up. Let's see what we are pace wise. Kind of ran it harder into the corner of the last two corners. We definitely closed in on these guys. Four's falling off, 13's catching up to him. And we got some lap traffic. Which the 15 last time went high and got stuffed in the wall because of it. So we'll see what we get out of him this time. 22.505. Normally I don't like short tracks where you have to run the high side because I have no guide on the inside to aim for so I miss my marks over and over. This track's a little different because you can run the top two lines and so I use this black line as if it's the yellow line and everything below is just the apron. Go high. The yellow flag is out. They want you in single file. Closed. Pit road is closed. Let us take Well, that was a stupid X. Not sure why the 13 freaked out so much there. Looks like he's got a bunch of damage. Alright, well, we'll pit this time. And then we're done pitting for the race. Pit road is now open. I think we just barely got scraped in the right rear fender, so... Shouldn't have any issues. But kind of a dumb wreck. Or just tried to gun it up on the low side, getting around the lap car, which the lap car should have just been on the low side, but he did not learn from when he got put in the wall, so not much we can do about that. Okay, punch it. These tires are going to be hilarious. 92-94. 98's on the left side. Just they want zero you usage. Single file. And, if everyone pit, we're in fourth now with fresh tires. Catch up, 10, car. help this guy out. Just don't take the damn racing line. It's a very simple thing. If the racing line's down low, go high. If the racing line's high, go low. And that's in the corners. Do whatever the hell you want on the straightaways, I guess, but just don't sit in the racing line when you're really slow and getting lapped. This is not a good thing. So, eight's taking the wave, wave around. So, we are in fourth. Now, on the same strategy as everyone. So, all that early pitting, all it did was get people wrecked and get bad track position. It just, it didn't make sense. And it wasn't making sense, because... We were still running quicker than them, almost. I mean, they were closing in slowly, but we also were not even touching the throttle. So, the one and the two, we're just going to get them around us. And then hopefully hold off the 17 and the 16. On the lead lap, we have 13 people on the lead lap. That's uh, pretty bad. One to go. Next time by, line up on the outside. 46.155. Alright, so 10 car. Hmm. I 
hopefully the 10 car doesn't send it in and then push up into the 13 and put him in the wall and then we have nowhere to go because then we'll get ran over by the one and two Not get a good drive. Car inside. Still there inside. Clear. He's trying to hold him off. Car inside. Maybe he's got some Keep high. damage that's slowing him down. Ten's getting loose. Clear inside. Inside. Twenty-two point six seven three. Clear. Still there, inside. Clear. Thirteen's getting loose. I'm getting loose. Well, that's the fucking pathetic. Line up, single file. Pit road is closed right now. That's... That's sad. That is... Self spin pathetic. Just driving over my limit, trying to stay ahead of the two. Just. That's why I need to build up speed, let it come in late. That was. That was pathetic. I am not proud of that one. Well, we're gonna come in and get new tires. Pete Road is now open. Since we got many sets, might as well start out with ones that haven't been spun. Three, two, one. Right here. <sighs> we'll get the damage fixed as well. That was pathetic. Nine, we'll blame it on the damage, right? Clearly wasn't the driver trying to go faster than he ever had. And did I just give myself a penalty there? I hope I didn't. I just... Oh, I mentally shut off when I make stupid mistakes. We nearly got a penalty for pit exit there. Eleven just blew up. Thankfully, he didn't turn left to wreck us. So, I mean, good news is we're in thirteenth. Bad news is we were in fourth, and at worst would have been in sixth. Half up nine. Car. Half up eight. Car. Half up nine car. I don't know what he's doing. Half up eight car. Half up seven car. Okay. Seven car, you gonna pay attention? There you go. Well, now we're in twelfth. Got a pass to nine who had a lucky dog. So he gets to start at the end. Just wanted to start on the outside, and now it's in checkout mode where we just kind of take our time, pass some people if we can, and hopefully people are stupid and pit again. 
that's that's really what we gotta hope for is just people pitting is gonna be the easiest way to pass. The pace car is off, be ready. Green flag, green flag. 41.294, inside, still inside. Stay high to the car on the low side, clear inside. 23 is going to go block us for 10th place. That's interesting. 22.7. Who the hell is this guy? Outside. Well, he's the guy that's going to turn himself into the wall, because... <laughs> what? What was he doing there? Why was he blocking for 10th? Then we get a nose on him, and he still tries to block us. Oh, we're up to 10x now. I mean, what was that? He was just turning hard left right on entry. I mean, that's not even a line. 22.201. Yeah, normally when I get into someone I will say maybe that was my fault, but not that. We're running right down here. Guy turned in. I, I can't do anything. He's the one in control of his wheel. Outside. Still there. Outside, clear. And we had already cut him a break multiple times there. I just, I don't, why... Why is a guy in fucking 10th place blocking as the number 23 car? I'm not saying he's bad, but just what? what is that? What is that mentality? You're going to hold me off for 60 laps when I've tracked you down, ran on your bumper, and just looking low? It's not even like I'm diving. Uh, I'm sure he'll wreck us. We're almost back up to where we should be. Although the two... The two and the one aren't looking all that hot. I don't know if they just have that much damage or what, but... They're not looking that quick. Front two, they've checked out. But I mean, the 13's still ahead of those two guys, so... We'll just be patient here. Biggest thing is just watching out for people doing the self-spin off the corner like we did. Inside. Stay high to the car on the low side. It was risky, but there, this guy's inside. really falling off. Has no Clear traction. Inside. Maybe he was letting us by anyways, because he did start running a low line there. 22.556. Some of these names look familiar, but again, as I say every time, I am just horrible with names, so... If you are a viewer out here, and you're racing me good, then cool. Thank you. I don't ever want you to just give up a position, though, if it's, you know, even. But right now, we definitely 
have a bit of speed. 14 definitely was lacking on some grip. And since we're going slow again, you know, I feel like if this goes long, the two's up there just sliding his tires around. He might eventually fall off. All I got to do is get two more spots and we finish where we're supposed to. 22.684. Fourteen's recovered a bit. He's got a little bit more speed going on right now. I got a little bit tight there running higher. I needed to either run lower or just a little closer to the wall and kind of cut down. Just so I don't feel like I'm going to pound it into the wall. And we got the 16. Well, the 15 didn't listen to our message, so I don't think there's any help in him. Maybe he doesn't have text, but uh, clearly he believes that he should just run the racing line, even though he could run down low. There we go. Now he's going to push up and kill us. Nope. All right, cool. He's got to figure it out. Maybe he got surprised on how quick they caught him. All right, 16's losing touch with these guys. Time to put a little pressure on him. Look at that. He didn't try to block. I wonder why that is. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear up top. So we've wrecked two people now and ourselves, so really uh, caused three issues. That's pretty poor. We got caught up in someone else's wreck, just barely. Getting tapped, but this, uh, since my self-spin, great run. Are we on, like, almost a 25-lap run as the 14 gets loose back there and loses some spots? Car feels good. It's coming in well. Now that I'm not trying to push it massively and stay ahead of people that... Well, I am faster than them, but... Uh, yeah, we're, we're doing it the hard way now. Five, six, nine. Trucks just coming alive, but I need to not push it too hard. I mean, if everyone pits, then we'll definitely pit again because we've gained everything back. I still feel like a fourth place is maybe. A fifth place is possible. A fourth place will be a little tougher, but the one's definitely down on power or handling because he is not. He's not checking out. The two's really hurt because he has not done a damn thing. 17's kind of just stuck behind him right now. Just looking for an opening. No pressure from behind. 17's looking in the mirror, fading low. They'll do it in one and two as well. Oh, nope. all right. Maybe he's not looking in the mirror. Maybe that's just his three and four line, cutting it down off the corner. Yep, all right. Thought we were gonna have to deal with uh, some mirror driving there, but I was wrong. 13 might be falling off a bit. The one might actually be falling off. It looked like he was checking out, but uh, now not so much. I'm going to go last lap on the Delta. 
Oh, how am I going to make this pass? Can I make a pass without running someone over? He definitely went lower there on entry. Take away his cut down line. He didn't give a shit that we were there. So we're going to have to get a little further up so he just runs into our side when he does that and then we'll get the position. Yeah, losing a bit of grip now. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to do much other than try to force him into a mistake. back just a tiny bit help on corner entry 22.742 he is really flirting with spinning himself I don't know if this is Adam on a second account or just a guy with the same name got a really good runoff there Car outside, 22.81. Outside is clear. Outside. Stay low. I mean, clear. you're not even going up to the wall on exit. That's not going to end well for you. There was clearly a call. Clear inside. 22.99. I, I don't know outside. why everyone keeps outside cutting clear. down when we get a nose there. I mean, that was all my fault, but I'm so sick of fucking running people over. I'm driving like ass. Car inside. Still inside. Clear. All me on that one. I missed my mark. I drove it in deep, but I was kind of forced to run harder just with the way the situation was leader, maybe not the leader. Ten cars definitely fallen off. Ah, uh, that one wasn't good. None of this has been good. I'm a freaking wrecker right now. But I mean, when you start cutting down across my nose on exit and holding low on exit, not even going out to the wall, I'm going to have to start driving harder, and then shit like that happens. It's just, there's protect in it, and then there's causing issues with the way that you're driving. That's going to get me fired up and have to drive in harder, and then I make mistakes. Still my fault, but it's just a lot of pointless, pointless blocking on exit, I guess, is the best way to put it. 2.849 Still there Clear outside if you want to At least we were able to pass one person clean But I thought he was going to send us in the next corner 22.84 9, so 0, 1, the 5 car clear. must be the leader 10 has just lit up his rears. He's just sliding off the corners. Trying to force the 13 to dive it in and then push up and run into the 10. It didn't work. 23.1315. Five. Five to go. There it worked. The car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Outside, clear. The car outside. These people just Keep like cutting low. down on exit. Even when there's someone there. 
It's uh not the boldest plan. Outside, clear high, well. low. The yellow flag is now it's going to be a green white checkered. Single file. Close. Pit road is closed. Catch up. One. <sighs> Who's going to pit? What do we got? Pit road's open. I don't know what's going to happen. Well, I guess we're staying out. Left us one nope. carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. Looks like we'll have a great well, at least one. I didn't cause that one for once, over. right? Car 23 got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. Two more. Let's go. I mean, go. that's a positive. Maybe the 13's blaming me for it. Who knows? Ten cars blowing up. That was just a traffic jam. And 13. I thought he was giving up there for a second and parking it. So, who all have we ran over? Uh, we got the 11, the 17... And who's the other guy? I've lost track of the people we've ran over. That's was there was there three, or was it just those two? No, because I don't fucking know. It's it's not a good sign when I can't keep track of that. It's just such a hard place to pass but yeah I mean if they're not going to give you room off the corner even when you got a nose there then you got to try to get in deeper so that when they cut down they just hit the side and they push up because if they come down across your nose they're going to spin out and then you're going to be in the wreck so I was just trying to get there on the inside and uh I, I just missed the corner by a little bit. We didn't even get an X from that. So it was probably a lot of prediction code, but it was still my fault. It's that I missed the corner a little bit because I overdrove it because I was trying to get something done. And yeah, just not a good race. One to go. I deserve Five to uh, on drop inside. below a 4.0 and two, nine, will two, below six. a 3.0 from this race, but We'll only lose a couple. Well, we'll lose like 54 I rating. I or not 54 I rating, but 54 safety rating. So there might be some people with some fresh tires. Not not anyone near us. About to go green. Stay focused. Five cars going to check out. We just got to try to get around the one. But do we? Do I need to try hard and wreck? We'll see. We'll see what this start does going to be some tire spin. Green flag, green flag. You're back in fourth position. 43.652. You're now in third. Car outside. Keep low. He gets a good run off the corner. We're just going to fall in. White flag this time. We'll take our third place. I don't want to risk dumping the one. If we had 20 more laps, we could start working on him, but it would take too big of a move. And I think he's quicker than us anyways. He was just trapped in that traffic jam. But <sighs> we're going to be on the wreck thing a lot. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Well, good job. The 14 good job. wreck someone else. Let's see if anyone's going to come get us. They might even not be left on track. 
sure we got some message. Oh yeah, the 23, wasn't it? Yeah. There we go. We found our extra guy. <sighs> Not a good race. We won't even open up that. The 23, though, that was all his fault. I mean... Screw him. That that was him. That had nothing to do with me. The 11, he was pinching us on a line that he shouldn't be on, being the car on the outside. Uh, the, oh, what was it, 17, we just completely fucked that up and dumped him. So, all right, let's go through it. And the one gets the 24 coming up in front of us, slams into the inside wall, and still beats us because he's that much quicker than us. Then the 24 loses it. While he's losing it, the 22 hits the wall. Is this audio really low? I swear everything is broken. Twenty loses it off the corner into the inside wall. Nine into the outside wall. Thirteen into the outside wall. And then into the outside wall again, probably. Twenty-two pulls a me and self spins, but unfortunately stays up in the groove and gets hammered a few times. Seven and thirteen kind of prediction code there. And then we got the twenty-two getting hit by the one. Thought the one was gonna just wipe out the 20. 18, three wide. I mean, he was going for the pass there. No way he could know that the three wide was happening. 18, into the wall. Prediction code between those guys. Well, he just overdrove the corner. So we're not very far into this because I remember that. That's when we got around him. And 7 throws a little block at the 11 for no reason. Thirteen gets loose off. That's where the 11 got his damage. And he gets the wall. Two car must be up in the lead, scraping the wall there. 24 is going to drive into the wall. Maybe again. Maybe again. Nope. This time he spins hard into the inside wall. And that gets the 15. I assume that's the 15 who got. No, the 19. 19 was stuck back there in the wall or in the fence. And he's getting rolled backwards, and that gets another guy. All right, let's see. He's definitely not in reverse. He just gets flung off the fence because he gets slammed into it so hard, and it rolls him backwards. But, I mean, again, it didn't matter that he was rolling slowly backwards. It's essentially like a stopped car. So the 22 should have missed it. Should have missed it. Should have missed it. Runs into him. I mean, I, I don't know what he wants me to do there. Like, what line is he headed to? He's coming down here. Like... I... Yeah, I'm not taking the blame on that one. That's, uh... You put yourself in the fence there. Seven. Self spins. Very slowly. Uh, 
Oh, four wide. Four wide. Four wide. Very stupid. No need for a four wide there. Like, what are you going to gain out of this? You wait just two seconds, but he puts it four wide on purpose. He knows it's four wide. He can see the car on the inside. He knows that the 18 pushed up into the 7. Then he gets loose, and... I mean, that's just so pointless. Especially when you got a fast truck. All you gotta do is wait a second. Just wait a minute. Wait till the 3 gets past. You're gonna lose one spot. But... Forces a 4 wide... And wrecks. Just, yeah, just totally unnecessary. Twelve misses a shift, and maybe black flag the three? Or did the twelve just hit the brakes? Yeah, the twelve just hit the brakes, and then the three aims for him. The one is sliding, and the three wrecks him. And then the three wrecks himself. Um, and then the 11 drives into it. Uh, yeah, I mean... Interesting stuff there. One scrapes the wall. 13 drives up the wall. That's what I was hoping to get him to do. Someone's blinking. And then, okay, the four didn't loop it on his own. Thirteen got him. And then... Doesn't go wide enough around him. And then he comes down and gives us a nice little 4x there. Car looking up the inside of the 13, and the 13 just turns down into him. Thirteen overdrives the corner and puts himself in the wall, but of course, gains speed from it. And the 23 just turns down, and this is after. Like, I do not understand what he was doing here, because we look low, he does this hard cut to the left. Alright, whatever. We look low again, he cuts down. We're right on his bumper. Zero X there. We're down low again. He thinks I need to be down here on the bottom. You got two fucking lanes above you. You need to go up there. That's the racing line. You're, drive, you're trying to drive a slower line to hold off a faster car. So, uh, yep, that one's not my fault. We were inside. It's not like, I mean, I'm on the brakes. We're not dive bombing. And he just turns down. When Look, look where everyone else ahead of us is running. And look where he's trying to get to with a car under him. It's just, he's half a truck down from where he should be, and it's all because he's trying to block us. So, into the wall he goes, and I don't feel bad about it. in the 15, almost wrecking the leaders again because he didn't go low. 12 in the wall. 16 in the wall. Nope. What was that? 14 just comes up the track and gets into the 16. But then takes a pounding there on the wall. And then this is just me missing the mark. 
and getting into the back of him. We were completely too high there. I needed to be down here. And I just completely screwed it up. I mean, there's space between us, but I was going to hit him. I, that's that's all on me, even though we didn't get an X for it. But I had to try harder because we kept getting our nose chopped on exit right like that. So we got forced into that to have to try to make the move. We were clearly faster than the guy. And it didn't look like we were going to be having any other yellows. So, But all on me. I just did not get it to turn in. I mean, you can see I'm well on the brakes. I'm getting on the brakes right here. We're not even near him. Off the gas. On the brakes. And I just, I, it doesn't turn in. I'm turning the wheel. And, I mean, let's go look at the other lap. Turning the wheel about the same until we get later in the corner. But I just, I just missed it. That sucks. First two, not taking blame for after seeing it. This one, I knew right away that's all my fucking fault because we didn't turn in. So, did not get it to turn in. Overdrove it for the tires that we had on it and ruined the guy's race. Just, yeah, not good. Then, 13 turns down on the one. The one just says okay. And the 13, I don't know if he was trying to get him. He looks like he's trying to hit him. Nine's gonna put it in the wall. And then this is where we're trying to make a move because they're just going slow and we're running out of laps. 13's coming down when he didn't really need to. He dives it in. Where does it happen? Right there. That's on the 10, I think. Oh yeah, that's definitely on the 10. I mean, yes, the 13's coming up. But what is, what's the 10's line here? He's got a car under him. He's trying to pinch him to hold on to the spot. He burned up his tires, and they run into each other, and 10 pays for it. So, he made the choice to squeeze him, and uh, got to live with those consequences. My bad choices, we got lucky, um, and didn't get screwed over by him, but... Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we screwed over other people. And 16 gets hard on the gas. And then into the wall. Is that at the white flag? Or after the checkered? That's at the white flag. And then... The 9 just sends it in. And that's on the 9. Not on the 14, because the 9 just dove it in. He's on fresh tires, I assume. But, uh, that is why the 14 decides to wreck him after the race. And over one spot. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I would get myself banned from my racing over one spot. But, yeah, I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy that the other two, fine, whatever. Um, you know, they clearly turned down trying to block off the line, but the 17, that that was just all on me. That was pathetic. Just completely missed the entry of the turn and wiped him out. Let's take a look at results, and we gain 50 I rating. We lose 50 safety rating. We get third place. But, uh, yeah, not a good time. I mean, it was fun racing, but just too many mistakes there that was just not up to my standards so uh, i hope you enjoyed it at least thanks for watching